This is Steve with Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and today I'm going to show you how to perform a four-stroke leak down test. Diagnostics on a four-stroke engine is a mystery to most, and performing a four-stroke leak down test will give you a good indication of what the engine is doing and hopefully eliminate a lot of the guesswork before you have to take it apart. Internal combustion engines are basically air pumps. They produce compressed air combined with fuel and spark and you get internal combustion. So a leak down test is essentially pressurizing the combustion chamber at top dead center compression with your valves closed to see how much the engine is containing that pressure and to tell you how much it's losing. A good sealed up motor will contain most of it but it's going to lose some. If you lose a certain amount of that whether it be your head gaskets, your piston rings, or valve sealing, or, or maybe a crack, that will give you a good indication of where to investigate next to see what's wrong with your motor. Not all manufacturers will provide a leak down test procedure or spec, but as a general rule, a leak down test procedure is widely used in the industry as a diagnostic tool. In general, a healthy four-stroke engine will have less than 10% leakage at 100 PSI. But if the specs are available in your service manual, always refer to those. To do this test, you need quality tools. Today, we're going to use this Motion Pro four-stroke leak down test that you can get here at Rocky Mountain ATVMC, along with a basic hand tools, rags, gloves, safety glasses, and you're going to need a consistent supply of 70 to 200 PSI of compressed air. So always refer to your OEM service manual for proper procedures, safety information, and specs. First, I like to start with a clean bike. I don't want dust or dirt getting into anything that I don't want it to be in. Next, you need to remove whatever's necessary to gain access with the spark plug. On this particular bike, we'll need to move the seat, shrouds, and gas tank to gain access. Now let's remove the spark plug cap and spark plug. Now we need to find top dead center compression. This would be a good time to refer to your OEM service manual for that procedure. On this bike, we just need to remove our timing plugs rotate the motor over and line up our timing marks. But it's also really easy to just pop off the valve cover on this and rotate it to make sure that we're on the compression stroke. Now Motion Pro suggests that we perform this test while the engine is cold, but it's always a good idea to follow your tool's specific instructions. So this Motion Pro kit comes with three adapters. Just make sure you pick the right one that fits in your spark plug hole. Go ahead and thread that in. Just be careful not to cross thread it and you want to Make sure that the O-ring seat's nice and tight. Don't over tighten it, but that it seals well. Now we're ready to perform our test. First thing I wanna point out is you might wanna take a breaker bar and get a buddy to hold it um, to reassure that the motor won't rotate on you when you pressurize the cylinder. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that anyway because we just don't want it to roll over. Second is every uh, leak down tester is set up slightly different. Um, so refer to the instructions to make sure that yours is set up correctly when you use it. Now to set up our Motion Pro four stroke leak down tester, first we want to take the regulator knob and pull up on it. And we want to back it off counterclockwise till it stops. This will ensure that the adjuster is below 60 PSI and it won't damage the tester. Now we want to hook up our supplied air of 70 to 200 PSI. And next we want to turn our knob clockwise and adjust the needle to zero. Now we want to attach our hose adapter momentarily and watch the needle cycle back and forth and back to zero. What you want is the needle to return to zero. If it's not at zero, you need to readjust it and repeat the process until it comes back to zero every time. Then the tool is set up for your test. So our results show close to 20%. A healthy engine will have less than 10% air leakage at 100 PSI. Any more than 10 to 15% and you will need to listen to see where the majority of the air is coming from. Start at the exhaust. If you hear hissing, this would indicate the exhaust valves leaking. Same thing with the intake. Then move to the radiator. If you see bubbles, this would indicate a head gasket failure. And lastly, we move to the crankcase. That's where the majority of the hissing was for us which would indicate that the piston rings are bad or maybe a crack. And that's all there really is to performing a four stroke leak down test. If you need more tools like this or parts, come visit us at RockyMountainATVMC.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Steve, catch you next time.